Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be covering everything about field hockey grips. Field hockey stick grips can be separated into two categories, a standard normal grip and an overgrip. I'll start by describing what a standard grip is. 99.9% .9 of standard grips are manufactured using polyurethane. But trust me when I say not all polyurethane is made equal. There's a huge variety of grips out there. We've tested hundreds if not thousands of grips here at Crown and different ones have different characteristics. This is often down to the difference in manufacturing methods and the different chemical formula of polyurethane used to create the grip. I'll explain a little bit about the two different polyurethane standard grips we sell here at Crown. We sell the lightweight polyurethane grip and a silicon backed grip. I'll talk about the silicon backed grip first. With the Crown grip, we are extremely keen to get something very soft and grippy. So all of our polyurethane grips have quite a lot of tack, quite a lot of surface grip to them. You'll see that we've debossed both the Crown logo and this dotted pattern. This is to mimic the dimples on the back of the stick, but mainly it is to increase the grip of the grip. The dots provide a slightly grippier surface than a standard grip finish would. But the main unique feature that we've added to the silicon pack grips is the silicon backing. The silicon backing is there mainly for cushioning and for extra grip. Making a grip that you can squish in more um, means that you have more surface contact with the grip and your hands and so you have a better grip over the hockey stick in the, at the end of the day that is the main purpose of a grip. The silicon backing helps to reduce vibrations a little bit but it's also just to provide a nice cushy feel and you'll notice it's particularly maybe more apparent on the edges here that this grip is actually made from kind of two materials with a fibrous woven backing. Having this means that the grip can be strong in different directions and stretch in different directions. Ours have quite a nice level of stretch to them. We're quite happy with that level and it's really, really strong even if it's in its most taut state. A stretchy grip is going to be easier to grip round your hockey stick. You'll be able to stretch it and pull it tighter around and it's got more chance of staying on there for longer. So we really wanted a stretchy grip. That's pretty much all I can say about the silicon backed one. Now we're gonna talk about the lightweight grip. Here is our lightweight grip. We felt that we should create a lightweight grip as the silicon backing on the other grips increased the weight to around 37 grams. So we wanted to make one that was still just as comfortable, but very light. So how we have done this is we have punched holes into the surface of these lightweight grips. Instead of the uh, dimpling dotted effect of the silicon back ones, these are holes just to reduce weight. They still have the same effect. You have more grip in the dotted areas than you do in the smoother, normal, standard grip surface. This also has the slight added benefit of letting water pass through it, which means that you're slightly less likely to have water sitting on the top of your grip, potentially making your grip a little bit more slippery. To reduce the weight, we've had to remove the silicon backing, so we've gone with the foam backing. We've tried to make this the most durable foam backing we can. Generally, it performs far better than any other grip that we can uh, think of or test for durability, apart from the silicon back grips. If you wanted to change the weighting of your stick and you wanted to have something that maybe felt generally a little bit lighter, then I'd suggest the lightweight grip. If you're going for something that is all out comfort and, and grippability, then I would suggest the silicon back grip. Now we'll move on to the second type of grips, overgrips. Overgrips can be a huge variety of different materials, but in field hockey, most of the time when people say overgrip, they're talking about a chamois. And a chamois originally is called a chamois or chamois grip because of the animal that the leather was taken from to make the original grips. Nowadays it's very hard to find one that's actually made from the animal, but synthetic grips have taken over, which is probably for the better. 
There are a few different reasons why players put an over grip that is a chamois over the standard grip that they have attached to their normal stick. The main reason though is to gain a bit of extra grip during wet conditions. The chamois material is great for absorbing water and maintaining its grip during the wet. There's a nice sweet spot zone with chamois where you have them damp and they feel a lot more grippy than they do dry and a lot more grippy than polyurethanes. As a result of chamois being better for grip strength during the wet, players tend to leave them on all year round just so they have a consistent feel. Sometimes you'll see some players get their water bottle and sprinkle or squirt a little bit of water on the handle. They're trying to make the chamois a little bit damp so that they're always playing with a damp chamois. They have a consistent feel throughout any hockey game within any weather conditions and that is a consistent part of their game. Another reason why people might use a chamois over grip is because they want to add thickness to their handle. Some players like a thin handle, some players like a thick handle. It's more about personal preference. Perhaps a final reason as to why someone would over grip their standard grip with a chamois is to protect their standard grip. Standard grips are usually a little bit more expensive, a little bit more hassle to remove and replace. I'll now go into a little bit more detail about all of the decisions we made when creating the Crown chamois. These are the chamois overgrips that we sell here at Crown. They are a classic standard chamois colour. Everybody knows the chamois colour. It's the original tan colour of the chamois animal, but this is 100% synthetic. Our main focus when deciding upon a material for the chamois was that we wanted something that outperformed all chamois in both wet and dry conditions. We felt that previously everyone who had created chamois were very focused about creating them for wet conditions. But as we've learned, a lot of players in intentionally keep chamois on all year round. So we need this to be extremely good in um, even the driest of conditions. We put quite a lot of time <laughs> That's putting it lightly, we've spent six years trying to create a material like this. It is never going to be quite as grippy in the dry as something like one of our polyurethane grips, but we feel that it outperforms every other chamois, even though its star feature is that it performs very well in wet conditions. This is by far the most durable chamois material that we tested out throughout the six years. However, it is not going to be quite as durable as polyurethane grips and chamois are generally replaced a lot more regularly. The one piece of branding is the crown wording uh, that is hot stamped into the fabric, but we think we've put in a piece of branding that didn't negatively affect it. We've seen chamois before with stitch lines or uh, printed inks or stickers over the top, and we thought that this could negatively affect someone's experience of using the chamois Inks can sometimes run, colouring the chamois in general can sometimes run onto players' hands or affect the surface, but hot stamping seems to just make the surface a little bit more durable in that area and it doesn't affect the grip too much, which is ideal, it was what we were going for. I think that's it for grips today. Subscribe, share, like, watch all of our other videos as I explain a lot more hockey concepts in other videos within our YouTube channel and uh, let us know in the comments what videos we should make in the future. Check out our website, check out our playlists, and see you later everyone. Bye bye! Get gripping your sticks!